all right i want to show you guys how to manipulate the hair and save it without error all right so i have the high head scene file loaded and it it names it high head when you load it up in blender i always load this first and i immediately rename it from high head to body this is what i always do when i want to work on hair when the hair is what i want to save i load the the high head scene file first rename it to body in blender then i go and find my hair scene file which uh will be called hair underscore oh one dot scene then i load that up next and as you can see when it loads in blender when you import it into blender it will also be named high head just like the high head scene file was so that's why i renamed the high head scene file to body and and now the hair now you'll be able to save the hair properly plus you need to have it the hair loaded second all right so what i'm doing right now is i'm going back over to the body and i am i am making the headband half the size so i'm just scaling it down to half its half its original size and because i want to be able to fully see the hair and fully manipulate the hair all right so my main focus on this video is saving the hair properly okay all right so now what i'm gonna do is uh, i wanna I'm, I'm gonna apply the uh the texture this is what and this isn't the focus of the video but i'm applying the texture to the to the face the face texture and blender so i can make sure the hair lines up properly and i'm not really detailing what i'm doing here because this is not the focus of the video um and i'm actually recording my voice after i recorded the video so i'm trying to keep up all right so okay so now what I am going to do, all right, um, I click back on the little high, uh, the high head, I guess it's a mesh, I guess that's what it is. So I'm just trying to move it so that it matches up with the facial skin texture. So wherever the head is on the texture, I mean, not the hair. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Wherever the hair is on the texture, I want to make sure the actual 3D model is covering it. And I want to make it too small. Right now, I think I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to scale down the width of the hair. And I, I need to manipulate it a little more, as you can see. The hair, the head shape is clipping the hair in the back. So I need to work on that. So, I mean, you can do that different ways. But I'm just going to try to accomplish it by, you know, lifting the hair up. I lifted the hair up a little bit and then now, yeah. I'm just kind of moving the hair around. If you lift the hair up too much, it'll be off the head. So I'm just showing you guys. All right. All right. So now I've got it kind of to where I want it. And the whole focus of this video is just to show you how to save this properly. So it's not really to show you the end result because I had a question about this, about the hair not saving properly. So after you work on your hair, you can, uh, let's see, you can select the folder that you want to export the hair to. Make sure you are not in edit mode when you're trying to export, okay? So right now I'm just finding a file that I can, uh, I mean a folder that I can save this in. And then I just click export make sure you have the 3d hair selected when you're clicking export or you will get an error because the blender will be trying to export something else but anyway that's the end this is that's how you should um, work on your hair when trying to get it to 
show correctly with the body uh that's how i work on my hair all right guys so that's the end of this one this one's not really a tutorial this one was more of a little helpful helpful hints and uh as you can see i am i'm dragging the 3d hair model that i just saved i dragged it over to the png.if so that it shows up with the player yeah so yeah I, I don't think i show the face in this video so i'm just gonna stop the video here and i will have to do a video about textures some tips for for facial textures all right guys i am out for this video hopefully this helps you with your hair issues and exporting hair and just manipulating hair with the body while in blender okay guys i'll catch you next time